Last Saturday, I did a benefit in Bell Fountain, Ohio, a uh, fundraiser for a theater, the Holland Theater. They're trying to light up the marquee at the Holland, which is great, but it's going to cost like six hundred thousand oh, dollars to light Jesus up this beautiful mar- marquee. Yeah, I mean, it's it's but it's, it's probably it's, a gorgeous theater. It is a gorgeous <laughs> theater. It has a Holland theme. I mean, you go inside and there's there's windmills on the walls oh, and cool. and oh, things yeah, that are spinning, and, and it's a, it's it's about a six hundred seat theater. And I was going to host it. And uh, two two great acts. Uh, the feature act was a young lady by the name of Nicole Kuhn. Uh, Stephen Scott was the headliner. Uh, he's been around for a while, and it was all put together. And uh, they reached out. The organizers reached out to uh, Dave Chappelle, and the chance that maybe Dave Chappelle would graciously come do some time because he lives in Yellow Springs, which was about forty minutes away. Long story, a little shorter, uh, he did. He agreed. Wow. And he drove up. He had just been in Philadelphia in a 20,000-seat arena, sold out. The night before that, he was in Pittsburgh in a 17,000-seat arena, sold out. Wow. And then the next night, he was driven up from Yellow Springs to come to Bell Fountain, Ohio, and did this show. And it was great. I mean, the, and, and, and word but, so leaked. You didn't, you didn't have any warning that he was coming. No, you I knew. No, I knew that there was a possibility he was coming, okay. but I was told to keep it a, a secret on the chance that something happened and it all fell out. So he ends up showing up. He does show up, he, but he's late. Okay. He's late. Of course, he's yeah, Chappelle. You know, he was going to be on film. time, right? So I would have been, been offended if Chappelle had been on time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on a second. You're not a real comic. <laughs> Um, Fake yeah. celebrity. <laughs> no, they said uh, they said in the you know, we had to Get backtrack the, the time. You do you do twelve to fifteen up front. The feature do fifteen. The headliner is going to cut back to thirty five. So Dave will go on at nine p.m. So yeah, it's the earliest show he's I, probably ever done. I did my twelve to fifteen, and the feature did the fifteen. The headliner, did, and then I'll, then then like five minutes before, uh, he's not going to be going on till 9 20 he's going to be here at 9 10 he needs 10 minutes to kind of get ready so i've got to go back up on stage after the headliner <clears throat> uh, crushes it and gets right. a standing ovation of course, of course yes of course of course he does. you know which is like every comics nightmare you got to follow a standing ovation uh which i did though yeah of course i did i just rode his wave i was very fortunate that the everything timed out did you bring your props i had no props oh, i don't have any props i brought my puppets i brought my puppets i brought my puppets do all your impressions <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Uh, at this point <laughs> uh, did, you know, did they know dave Chappelle was coming yes and, they okay. knew because so it was announced because people knew people knew that Chappelle was good with i mean they they were they bought tickets and sold out the theater on the hopes he'd be there. But once they got there, they knew he was there because they were bagging the cell phones, which is the protocol on a Dave Chappelle show. So everybody knew that he was there, and that was fine. We told them. They all knew. Uh, when I went back up, I did not say Dave Chappelle's running late. I didn't want to put any negativity into their thoughts. I you know, I didn't want that working against me, and I did the show. He comes out. I don't get to talk to him before he goes on stage. I don't get to shake his hand and say, here's Dave Chappelle. I say, Dave, but he's got his intro music. He does 30 minutes, a killer 30 minutes. He's Dave Chappelle. You know, yes. and leaves. I don't see him before, as he's walking out. Security engulfs him and takes him back down to the green room. That's where he's at in his career. That's no big deal. So we're just all kind of sitting there going, what did we, you know, can we go down the green room? And, and then nobody's saying anything. And then finally they say, if you want to come down the green room and say hi to Dave and, you know, take a picture and chat for a little bit and meet him. Yeah. So we all go down. I worked with him back at the Funny Bone back in the day when he was, you know, still a club comic. Does he remember that at all? No, he didn't remember yeah, that yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. But he remembered the Funny Bone in Columbus. And we were talking and so forth, and we started talking about... Uh, and then he gets generous and says, if you want, guys want to come down to my summer camp, you know, he's doing the shows, the summer camp shows, you know, hook up with my guy Joe, we'll make sure you guys get tickets. I'm like, great. And I go, when are they? They says, they're July. And I go, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be at the World Series of Poker because I'm in the World Series of Poker this year in the tournament. Which is another story. Which is another story for another time. And he goes, oh, man, well, then I hope you can't make my show because that's cool as hell. And we start talking about that. And then he says, "Uh, I'm going to get a drink. And if you guys want a drink, you're welcome to come down to my private bar in Yellow Springs. And this is where you like kind of like try to remain a little like (laughs) inside you're going, are you serious? (laughs) Really? (laughs) Really? Nobody's outside. stopping me. That's what, <laughs> that's outside. Inside the head, you're Kermit the Frog. You're just like, 
yeah, yeah. Outside, I'm like, yeah, I think I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I got yeah, nowhere to be. You know, what's, what's about forty minute drive from here? Yeah, I think. All right, I got. I got Uber. I think. Right. I, I like think you're I not canceling appointments uh, for the next I think day. I can Sorry, mom, I'm gonna miss our phone call this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I gotta check on my mother's rash, mom, and then as soon as Chappelle. I do that, yeah. <laughs> Chappelle heard all about your rash. <laughs> So uh, yeah, concerned. I mean, we go down and uh, <laughs> and we go down to his this bar that he's got. It's not it's a, it's private. It's just his. It's not open to the public at all. And it just and I'm hanging with. It, it gets very surreal. I'm like I'm hanging with the Dave Chappelle. How many people are in this bar? Um, he had some of his people there. He had a he had a, a DJ that was present and called up to. His own DJ that was spinning and mixing, Smooth. right? Yeah. And 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 this and this place is just. I see why he calls it the shack because outside you wouldn't be able to pick it out from anything else. Inside it was just beautiful, and uh, at the, my my point being that this at the end of the day, once you get past the security and the entourage and everything else, it's still this guy that loves to do stand up comedy and is just a real regular guy. He's a good dude. And he came to Bell Fountain because he believes in small towns mm-hmm. and he believes in small town causes. That's why he lives in Yellow Springs. He's, he, you know, he's he's literally trying to do things to constantly improve Yellow Springs and bring more and more things to it. The, the public uh, radio station. The he's public redoing. radio station, and he's he, you know he's buying some buildings that are and trying to make them into something. He wants to put mm-hmm. up a comedy club. Uh, so thank God so it was you and not me, because I would have gone all fanboy. On I didn't go fanboy on him. I, I didn't go fanboy at all. In fact, that's it's just like I remember. I, remember, I can't remember who gave me the advice, but always try to act like y- you belong there. Treat normal people like celebrities and treat celebrities, celebrities like, like normal people. people. That's, That's good. Piece That's of good, advice. good, too. Because I did not monopolize any conversation. I said, you know, he says, what do you want to drink? I said, I like bourbon. He goes, I don't have any bourbon. We got this Japanese whiskey that I've been dying to open. And I said, don't open it on my account. He goes... I mean, I'm, uh, Give me an we're gonna, we're gonna I'm a millionaire, yeah. bitch. <laughs> well, it's, funny you say, it's funny you say I'm a millionaire. Um, it's funny you say I'm a millionaire because every once in a while, that, that didn't, and not in a bragging way whatsoever yeah, yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. He says, uh, he goes, where are you from? I said, I live in Columbus, Ohio. He goes, oh, my, 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 my son's uh, living and working in Columbus, Ohio. I go, what's he do? He goes, does it matter? His dad's a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> he, said, he said, he's living his best life. Hilarious. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it's 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 it, it got very surreal. We talked we talked about the writer strike. We talked about whether SAG would go on strike. Uh, I talked we talked about acting and you know how come you know you do more acting? He's like, and he's like, he's like you know, he shows me the clip from Stars Born. He goes, I got great notices. I know you got great notices on this. He goes, Bradley Cooper, amazing, so forth. He goes. Man, I, I love doing what I do, you know. And he like he he knows what he loves to do. Yeah, he's obviously one of the greatest at doing it. He's a voice of our our generation on a lot of levels. Granted, controversial at times, but that comes with the territory. You know that especially if you speak your mind and you speak your truth. But the but the the bigger part of it was was that he was just this this just this guy. I'm smoking cigarettes and drinking Japanese whiskey and watching. He goes, check out this video, man. DMX was in here. This is this 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 is this is this is this is crazy. And he showed me this video and 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 other stuff telling stories about Stevie Wonder when Aretha Franklin died and how Stevie Wonder did this set where he where he where he sang all the songs that he wrote for Aretha Franklin and there wasn't a dry eye in the house and he's just telling these these great stories and it's just like uh I I was unaffected is my point you know because it was just I've considered it a pleasure and, a, and, a, and an honor to be there but I I wasn't like you know and remember that time? Remember that time on the Chappelle show when you did that? When, when, when you did that? When Comedy Central? Yeah, remember that? Remember that? What were you thinking? Yeah. And remember, remember, remember Dave Chappelle's block party? Of course you remember Dave Chappelle's you block party. You made the movie. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. There was none of that. Yeah. There was none of that. And then I then I left early. Actually, I I said to him, I said, you this know, is this is a smooth move. This, this is I, a smooth I, Dino I, move right here. Yeah, I left early. I said, I said, I I tapped him on the shoulder. And I said, I, I always like to leave before my host tells me I gotta go. <laughs> and, the market. And, and, uh, and, he, and he responded. And he, and he said, you know, he responded in kind. We shook hands, and, oh, and uh, I have no selfies. <clears throat> I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be 
that guy, you know. Yeah. I, I, I just, I just uh, was in the moment. Chappelle didn't see any of my set. I didn't care. Right. I wasn't yeah. there. I was no. I didn't. I chip. I didn't I know care. You didn't care, but I didn't it, it care. was so cool. Though. No, it would have been cool. Be, but but it would, not, it would, 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 would it, pops into everybody's mind, and what's never gonna happen? Never gonna happen. Chappelle bounds out of his limousine and goes, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I'm make you a star." Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Give me all your stuff. I'll take it right to my agent. No, the win, the win wasn't Dave Chappelle watching my set and tell me if I, if I, if I did well the or win, not. The win was right, able to laughter, hang out with a guy yeah, 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 yeah. and talk right. to him like a normal person about right. normal things. Which, which, is, able, which is great yeah, that you were actually yeah. able to do that because I would say that, but in my head, <laughs> I would still want that. I'm going to make you a star, kid. Here, let me take all your stuff. To, let, it's going to be a Chappelle and George movie. Right. I got it figured out. No, like, no, in my no, head, no, I no, totally no, want no. that. To, even though I might, I might say exactly what you just said. Like yeah. in my head, I would still want that fantasy. So, uh, another, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you want want say your, no, I was going to say your play is. Just be cool, but make a mark. So hopefully, you make a f- mark for myself. So ho- well, right. So hopefully yeah. he'll run into you again and be like, "Oh yeah, you were the dude who I, had the who liked maybe the Japanese he will. Maybe, guy he will. To leave maybe, 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 maybe he will. Maybe he will. Maybe he doesn't this guy matter. I met right. in, it doesn't in matter. You know, do you realize how early. many people sure. he meets? How right. many people he? Comes yeah, across? you're not the fact that the man had the generosity. Yeah. And the hospitality right. to invite strangers that's right. into his bar that he had never met right. or, or, or knew. That's and he cool. next time he cracks open that Japanese bourbon, he's gonna remember, he's gonna remember the Scotch whiskey. Oh, oh the, the Japanese Scotch whiskey. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's he, gonna remember the cool dude he met in Belfound that left it early. He's, he's gonna might, think about the funny bone. And he might not, time. and that's fine. I don't <laughs> Dino care. slipped his you card know, in the box. I, it, uh, I, I, I don't think right. I don't think he, I don't think Dave Chappelle woke up on Sunday morning like, oh man. What was that guy? Dino? Yeah. yeah, he was cool. No, I don't think he did that. I, think I don't he think did. he did that. I don't Find think he did him that on at TikTok. all. I really think he did. And, and by the same token, when I was driving home, kind of recapping the night in my head, I'm like, mm-hmm. you were just hanging out with the biggest name in comedy, Mark mm-hmm. Twain winner for mm-hmm. comedy. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, and, and I went, and I'm in the car going, <laughs> Good for you, man. I'm glad it was you and not me. Okay, I would, did you guys I would have totally care about that. And when I say, and when I say, eh, I don't mean like, eh, it no, didn't matter. Right. It's no. like, eh, okay, that's right. that's one you for the books. That.